Hey guys, today we're at Timberline Homes in Anderson, Alabama, and this is the Huxton. And we are getting another sneak peek today. This is not fully set up, but uh, it's got some stuff in there and it's got the power on. We're gonna go in and take a look at it. It's, uh, this home is well over 2,000 square feet. I believe it's like 2,200. I'll show you here in just a second with the floor plans, but uh, absolutely beautiful home. Let's go in and take a look, see what this has to offer. And as we start up the steps here, you're met by this beautiful front door. And again, the door is inset and you have can lighting overhead all the way down the side of the home. And wow, <laughs> when you walk in the front door, you can tell there is a lot of space in this home. We're just going to pan back around and let you take a look with us. Got your beautiful fireplace there. And if you notice right above it, it is ready for your big screen TV right there. You've got your cable input as well as your plug in right there. We're going to pan back around. You got a lot of natural lighting with these big windows. You've got three right behind the couch and then another two and then more as you go into the kitchen. And I like what they've done with those smaller windows just above too. I'm not sure what you call those, but that's a nice touch as well. Then you have your trade ceiling up here and your beams across with your ceiling fan. We're going to walk back into the kitchen and take a look at that. You got your dining area right back here. It is kind of an open floor pan. I like their choice in tables here as well. Then you've got your microwave inset into the uh, storage area there. I like that as well. Keeps it out of the way where it's not sitting on the counter. I really like that. And I was right, this is uh, well over 2,200 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, 2,280 square feet. This thing's huge. It's got a really cool feature that I think you're gonna like as much as I do when we get back around to it. Uh, it's really cool, really cool. And it's tied onto the master bedroom and the laundry. That's all I'm gonna say. But when you see it, you're gonna think, I gotta have this. Check this out. Here is more of your cooking area and your prep area by your stove. You've got your hood above. And then as we pan around to the sink on the other side of the island here, you'll see you've got three windows. And those windows do not open, but it lets in plenty of natural light. And you can look out when you get stuck on dish detail like I do. And then just to the right of the sink, you'll see your dishwasher right here. Panning back on around to the left, you'll see you've got three more of those windows. So again, a lot of natural light. I like that. You've got storage area on this side of the island. And then on the other side, you've got a recessed area so that your uh, stools, and if you wanted just two chairs like that, you could put two really comfortably there, or you could probably get about three or four bar stools there really comfortably. So we're going to pan back around here and show you more of all this storage if you missed it. And now we're going to go back into the guest bedrooms, the laundry, and as promised, that really cool feature that you don't want to miss. I like what they did with that fireplace there. It looks really good. I'm going to tap on that. I don't think that's real brick but it is like that tile. I think it's like a faux type brick, but uh, it, is, it is like a tile. It's not like a plastic or anything. So that's pretty neat. And we're gonna go on down and if you'll notice, it looks like an Ecobee, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open that up. Let's see, yep, that sure is. That's uh, an Ecobee. So this is smart uh, home feature right here. You can control the heating and air with your uh, smartphone, Android or Apple, works on both. And you have the canned lighting and again, the faux hardwood throughout. So look at that big return. It's got a really big heating and air return right there. So you get good heating and air uh, flow through here. And now you've got a lot of ways you can go as you come to the end of this hall. So we're gonna start with the bedroom. 
We're going to call this guest room one. We're just going to turn immediately back into the right here. And this is your standard guest room. The heating and air is in the ceiling in this home. And you've got the upgraded uh, light fixtures there as well. And we'll back up so that you can see those and pan up. And now we're going to walk over to the closet and open that up. This is a fairly decent sized guest room. And you have the wire shelving again. You can upgrade those if you want. It goes left and it goes right. So you got a lot of closet space in here. It's not a walk-in closet per se, but you can kind of step into it a bit. All right, we're going to go across and turn back to the right. We're going to take a look at the guest bathroom really quick. And you have one sink in here. You've got the big mirror and you've got plenty of storage underneath the sink. You do have three canned lights in here. Your heating and air is in the ceiling. It does have a fan system. And you have the larger garden style tub, the, the larger tub. Uh, and it is, it is capable with a shower as well. So we're gonna go back around over here and walk into we're going to call this guest room number two. And again, there is drywall throughout this home as well. And you have one heating and air vent in this, the upgraded fixture uh, window for your natural light. And this is a normal size window. And then you have the closet here as well. And I'm going to back up so you get a feel for this room. The camera doesn't always do it justice, I know, but this is a fairly large room. So we're going to open up this closet really quick, just see if it's any different from the other. I suspect it'll be the same, and it looks like that it is. All right, we're going to go over and check out guest room number two. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, guest room number two, or guest room number three. I've This thing's got so many rooms, I'm getting confused myself. So we're in guest room number three now. And overlook, again, this is being set up, so there are some construction supplies in here. We're not going to be able to open that closet door there. However, I suspect it's going to be mirror image of the others as well. Uh, so we're going to walk over to see there is a second guest bathroom directly across here. So if you got a lot of guests, this is, again, a mirror image of the other one. You're not looking at the same room. This is another one just identical to it on the opposite side of the hall. Check that out. Just like the other one. Now, we're going to go back down the hall and we're going to go into the laundry room. And now this laundry room connects to your master walk-in closet. That's kind of the cool feature and I'm going to I'm not going to spoil it for you. But that room right there goes into your master walk-in closet and on into your master bedroom. So, but in here, and I'm gonna close that door. I don't wanna spoil the surprise for you yet. But uh, in here, you can see you've got plenty of space for your washer and your dryer. You've got the upgraded shelving above, and you've got storage space and closets right there behind the door. You've got a rear door here with a nice big window and a huge window right there, like a picture window right there. And you have a sink and storage underneath. That way you can do uh, whatever it is you need to do as far as washing up if you come in from mudroom and using it as a mudroom. Or you can uh, stain treat some laundry right there. Let's open these closets up see what's see what we got hiding in here. There we go. We got plenty of storage in there. That's a big closet, really. And then we're going to open this one up and see what's in there. Oh, that's your heating and air return. Okay. That makes sense. Man, that's a big heating and air unit. You won't be getting hot or cold in that one. So, and I know I told you that this other door went into the master. Uh, we're going to walk back around so we don't spoil that master closet and I'll show you where all this interconnects here in just a second. So let's walk back down and go to the master bedroom. As we walk into the master bedroom, I forgot to flip a light on. 
All right, we are walking into the master bedroom. Again, you have two vents directly either side of the big ceiling fan and two windows. In this room, it's really big. Again, big enough for a king size bed, big enough for a big screen TV on the wall. No problem at all. Uh, plenty of outlets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outlets in here. Wow, that's you, you've got options for, if you're a tech guy like me, you've got a lot of options here. All right, guys, so now we're going to walk into the master bath here, and then we'll walk into the walk-in closet and let you take a look at all that. And as you see your vanity here, you got the two sinks. That's pretty much standard these days if you don't have two sinks. If somebody's waiting and you got this big mirror, I really like that. Can lighting in the ceiling up there as well. And then if you pan back over here to the left with me, you've got this big walk-in style shower. I really like those. And yes, ladies, it is equipped with a bench. And I'm not talking about a little bench. I'm talking about one you can, you can stretch out right there on that one. Handle your business. Handle your business. Got the rain head shower and the detachable wand there like that. And don't worry. If you don't want to take a shower, they got you covered. This massive tub here, this thing stands dang near waist high, uh, at least up on your hips. So you can really get down in that thing and uh, run your big tub of water, go to sleep. <laughs> You've got two windows overhead there. And then across from the big bathtub, you're gonna see you've got your, what they call a water closet your toilet area it's still big enough you got some elbow room in there and you got can lighting in there as well now we're going to walk into the master closet the walk-in closet and as i told you it's got a surprise and that's that door on the other side that goes right over to your laundry that way you could just you know don't have to walk all the way through the house with all your dirty clothes you could just walk straight into the laundry from the master i really like that but let's look up here. You've got natural, the slotted windows up there for the natural lighting. You've got the upgraded shelving on that side. And as well, right over here to the right, you've got two sections of it. So ladies, that might be your side if you have a little more clothes than your husband. And then you've got places, I guess, for your shoes or whatever else you want to store right there. And as promised, we're gonna show you it does connect back around to the laundry we're going to open that door then we're going to go see how much this beautiful home is 2200 square feet are you kidding me this thing is huge again we are at timberline in aniston alabama if you want to know more about the home we don't work for them you're going to have to contact those guys we're going to put their information down in the description box below and remember be sure to subscribe our videos are always free just hit that subscribe and that bell icon and Drop a thumbs up, drop a comment for us, helps us out, doesn't cost you a thing, and it keeps our videos for free. So let's see how much this home is. The Huxton, between 198,000 and 205. Uh, you know, that's based on however you customize it, also based on the time you buy it. This is at the time of filming. Now that price, if you watch this video a year from now, is subject to change, so just be aware of that. But contact them at Timberline and they can tell you more about it. And this is a Timberline Homes Incorporated home. It's 2,256 square feet, four bedroom, three bath, 32 by 80. There's their phone number right there. And again, we're gonna put it down in the description. It is the Huxton. Thanks for watching guys. We are headed over to do another home tour. You do not want to miss. I promise you it's gonna be right out that door and back around to the left. Be sure to follow us for that one as well.